Are you ready for some action? Some action 52? <laughs> I suppose so, because I get requests for this game all the time. Like this one right here. Play the fucking game, nerd. Wow. I guess I gotta do it now. Let's start with the cartridge. It's the freak misfit of the NES library. You can tell just by looking at it. This is a game that's so bad, it has nothing to hide. Another thing, if you play it for more than an hour... Not only is this game crap, but it's crap that comes with a price. A hundred and ninety-nine dollars. That's a lot of money. A hundred and ninety-nine dollars. So let me calculate this. A hundred and ninety-nine dollars... Uh... Well, you gotta pay tax, too. So let's just say four dollars a game. Wow. What a deal! 52 action-packed games bundled into one cartridge, all for an efficient price? It was every kid's dream! Lights, camera, action 52! Oh. And where did they get the music? Okay, um... Well, let's get this thing started. We're gonna have ourselves a little marathon here and determine if the $199 was worth it. Game number one. Does this ever happen to you? Who's gonna dodge that? Nobody! Not the first time! Number three, Illuminator. You're not even allowed to see in this game? Real fun idea. The question is, how much more black could this be? And the answer is none. This is it. Great fucking game. Number four, G-Force... What? Programmer's personal recommendation? Well, so far, every one of these games is a bomb! But out of 52, I'm sure that eventually we'll find one that's decent. I hope! Number 7, Critical BP, or Critical Bypass. Oh, now it's spelled with a Y? Oh, that's dreadful. It's like an optical illusion. Well, that's pretty bad, when the game causes eye strain and you can't even fucking look at it. What is this anyway? A pogo ball on a Segway shooting at birthday presents? Ugh, critical bypass. It's critical that you bypass this game. Number nine, Alfredo, or Alfred and the Fedic. Yeah, Fedic. You never heard of Fedic? What happened? Where's the fucking game? How much money do we waste so far? Like, $56, I think? It's already exceeded the average price of a Nintendo game. Number 18, Atmos Quake. Oh, another space shooter? I pass. Oh, I'm only up to number 19? Jeez. Fuck. fuck, fuck, fuck. Number 19. You are new and six, you are new black points. Welcome to the cult. It's a Don't forget You are new, you are new. You are new. What the fuck? Sixty-nine black points. You are new. You are new. Good lord. 
Number 20, Space Dreams. Oh my, what's this gonna be? I love refrigerators. Where do they come up with this stuff? Number 21, Streamers. You're a clown climbing up platforms like Spider-Man. Holy, Holy shit, shit, it's, it's Spider-Man! Spider Ooh, a rabbit in a hat. What does that do? Nothing at all. Oh, then the game crashes. Good. This is an endurance, man. I've never played such a huge compilation of crap in my life. Was the whole idea to make so many shitty games that there'd be no more shitty games left to make? Out of all these, there's gotta be at least one that's... tolerable. Number 30. Number 7. Oh, oh. oh my, what's this gonna be? Yay, I've always wanted to play a game where I'm a little girl shooting bubbles. Whoever came up with this is an asshole! Number 32, Shooting Gallery. The easiest shooting game ever. Reset. Number 33, Lollipop. Are you kidding me? Reset. Number 34, Evil Empire. Oh, game sprites so small you need a magnifying glass? That seems to be a theme here too. Look at that. There's some crazy shit going on over there. I want to join the party. Oops. Reset. Number 35, Sombreros. Well, I guess you're wearing a sombrero, shooting at vacuum cleaners on the street. Not much to say. I've lost all hope. 52 games, they all probably suck. I could think of some pretty bad games, like Little Red Hood. That's a horrible game, but at least it's one horrible game, not 52. You know what's more fun than playing Action 52? 52 card pickup. You know how you play that? Pick up the cards! Number 36, Storm Over the Desert. Ooh, another title screen. So you're an army tank shooting at other army tanks, which happen to be pink. What the hell? A giant Saddam Hussein? Two hours later. Now I'm getting tired of this. Can someone at least try to kill me? Hey you, you, get over here. Pause and select. Get me out of here. By the way, horizontal 2D space shooter. Number 40, Billy Bob. We the biggest! Reset. What happened? Where's the fucking game? Number 41, City of Doom. You're climbing the tallest building in the world. Two hours later. That's it. It goes on and on and on. How tall is this building? It must lead into outer space. Oh no, please, please not space. A few moments later. What the hell is all this shit? <laughs> Number 48, Time Warp Tickers. What kind of drugs were they on? Was this game even made by a human being? Number 49, Jigsaw. It crashed. I can't believe they sold this shit fest for $199! That's about how much it costs for a video game console. Pretty much. You could take $199, stand on a bridge, and just throw it all away. You'd rather do anything than spend it on a broken down, dysfunctional disaster of video game programming. With games that crash, hideous jumping control, random characters, microscopic sprites, a marathon of mediocre space shooters, dying in midair, problems with proportion, misleading titles, misleading power-ups, embarrassing weapons, seizure-inducing backgrounds, lack of enemies, games you can't win, games you can't lose, games that make no sense whatsoever, shitty graphics, shitty music, shitty menus, and a fuck ton of other things. A few moments later. Jotaro! Dio! Ho! Mukatte kuru no ka? Nigezu ni kono Dio ni chikazuite kuru no ka? 
近づかなきゃてめえをぶちのめせないんでなほほうでは十分近づくがよい Quality over quantity. That's our lesson here.